Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, of course, we got some exciting news from Black Magic Design. Um, and of course, this comes with their Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera. They're, they just came out with a 6K. And uh, just to show you right here, some of the biggest differences are really two, uh, which now that it, uh, by default uses the EF mount, which is very popular from Canon series of lenses. Uh, which they have over 70, uh, shoot, I'm not even sure what uh, else they got right now that have an EF mount. And now it uses a super 35 millimeter 6K sensor. And uh, I got this picture just to show you the size of the sensor. And uh, now this is coming from before the uh, 4K version uses a uh, MTF. Hopefully I uh, said that correctly. Yeah, uh, yeah MTF micro four thirds sensor. So uh, the sensor is gonna be much larger, um, which is gonna be, um, I think, uh, of course, always welcome. Now this is gonna probably come roughly at about $1,000 more. Uh, well, yeah, the uh, course with the uh, 4K was almost $1,300 with the 4K version and this version, 6K version is gonna be $2,490. Five dollars. Um, basically, everything's pretty much the same. So, if you uh, ever decide to upgrade to the 6K version, now of course you do have to have um, some EF lenses. Of course, you can always use adapters. And I kind of wish the wish they used the EF mount for the 4K version, but uh, they didn't. Now, with this EF uh, EF mount, now. The electronics are supposedly going to be supported for, for the Canon cameras with the sensor for at least the iris, um, touch focus, um, no uh, mention I think of autofocus, um, but we'll see. And I don't know if it's also going to implement Canon's image stabilization for that lens as well, or if it's still going to be in body or a choice between the two. That's going to be interesting. Um, the 6K sensor is going to be up to 60 frames per second and then with reduced resolution up to 120 frames per second. Um, now it does also support dual ISO, same as the 4K version, uh, 400 and 3200. And uh, let me see what else I got written down here. Um, okay, that's kind of uh, my covering of the... Uh, the new 6K uh, pocket cinema camera from Black Magic Design. Now, I also wanted to talk about DaVinci Resolve. There was confusion, even by myself. Uh, I've been seeing news items pop up that, um, of course, they released their final uh, DaVinci Resolve, final version 16, which has came out of beta, but yet they also are offering a 16.1 beta also for... DaVinci Resolve, which is kind of confusing. Uh, they've been changing how they do their betas, at least for right now. Before it was final version, uh, which was 15, and then the usually the betas would be the next version, which they've done before, which was of course the 16. Now they're, they're seeming just to jump off. Um, I don't know if they're gonna keep it like this forever. And I don't know if like, for instance, maybe when DaVinci Resolve 17 comes out, or they're going to come out with a beta version and then keep the 16 final and also have a 16 beta as well. So it's kind of confusing how they're going to do that in the future. But uh, I just wanted to tell you of the exciting um, announcements coming out with Black, Black Magic Design. Uh, so many interesting things. And I love Black Magic Design with their, their cinema cameras because they really compete with the high end for a much lower price. So uh, that's always good to see. Till then, thanks for watching and see you guys later.